Welcome back to our video session on statics. For the past couple modules we've been looking at equivalent systems and what I'd like to do now is play with some of the rules that we learned during that time. So what I've put down here is a fairly basic beam problem where you have this beam A3, it's being supported and then you have in red some applied forces. Now for the purpose of this problem we're only going to look at the applied forces. And what we'd like to do is see different ways of writing this out. So for instance, the first way is the obvious way. We have our beam, A through E, and all we have are simply force A, force C, and force E. So the one way that we could write this out is to just simply put in the forces. Now we notice that um, if we're going to reduce this we're going to have to reduce it about a point. So traditionally what we did is uh, we said around the center of gravity but we can look at this from any points perspective. So in particular let's try number two. Let's try looking at this about the point a. So about this side, well let, let's think about this. We could apply all these forces along this length or we could reduce it to one force applied at A. Let's see, that's 350 down, 400 up, that's going to be 50 applied at A going up. However, take a look at what's going to happen. The 250 here is going to try to excuse me, is going to try to rotate the bar down in the clockwise direction. The 400 is going to try to rotate the bar in the counterclockwise direction. So what we need to do is say not only are the forces applied, but in addition there's also going to be some sort of equivalent torque. Let's take these off. Let's figure out what that equivalent torque is. The 250, let's see, um, the sum of the torques about A. All right, now in this case it's not going to be zero. We're ignoring the support, so we're only looking at the applied amounts. In the negative direction, we're, going, we're applying 250, and that will be applied at 8 feet. So take a look up here, we see 8 feet. And we're going to have a positive torque, 400, and that is applied at 12 feet. We combine those two and we get negative, whoops, sorry, 2000 plus 4800 equals 2800. So in other words, these two forces are combining to add an additional or to add 2800 foot pounds of torque. So we can combine the forces to get 50 pounds. And in addition, the applied forces would also apply 2,800 foot-pounds of torque. This is an equivalent system about A. Now, just a reminder, of course, the 100 pounds isn't going to do anything regarding the torque. Well, what if we were to take a look at E and say, what would the equivalent force be for E? Go ahead and take a minute and see if you can solve it yourself. So how did you do? Well, let's take a look at how this works. Whoops. Um, we're going to write the same bar. We're going to go to E. Now we're still going to have the same sum of the forces. So you're going to have 50 pounds applied at E. However, now the sum of our torques is going to be calculated a little differently because we're looking at a different point. So let's take a look at what's happening here. The 100 pound torque, well that's going to try and rotate it in this direction or positive. So that's going to be 100. Actually let's let's take that, uh, take that arrow off right there so it doesn't confuse us. 100 applied at 12 feet 
In addition, we have the 250 pound force, and that is being applied at four feet, so it's four feet from the end. Now note, in this case, the 400 pound force is applying right on E. It's not going to cause any type of torque. So here, we have 1,200 foot-pounds plus 1,000 foot-pounds, and that's 2,200 foot-pounds. So in other words, and it's positive, right? So um, we're going to have twenty two hundred foot pounds of positive torque around E. Great, so now we're making some progress. We found equivalent forces on A and E. Now let's take this a step further and say, well, can we do this as simply a force? A force being applied at a distance. Let's take a look at um, let's let's keep all these here so we can at least let's see can we get all of it we can't quite fit it all in um, let's take a look around E and what we're gonna try and do is see if we can figure out how to do this with just one applied force alright so we're gonna make here's E now what is our applied force our applied force is going to be 50. Still, we have an equivalent amount of 50 pounds, no matter how we cut it. And that's going to be applied somewhere. So what we need to do is figure out where do we apply that 50 pounds so that we result in a net torque of 2,200 foot-pounds. Well, this is going to be kind of crazy, but I think it's going to be somewhere around here. I'm just taking a guess, all right? The way we find out is we say that the sum of the torques about E, that's going to be 2200, right? We already know what that is. The sum of the torques about E is 2200. Now we're also going to say that we know what the force is. The force is 50. Check this out, 50 pounds. That's how much we're applying. So the real question is what is the radius about which it is applied? what answer will we get to find out what the radius is. If we plug in these numbers, we find that the radius equals 44 feet. Now, one thing that we haven't looked at is what is the sense, positive versus negative. Well, we know that we're trying to rotate this direction. So if the force going up were here, we would want to rotate it in this direction. That's wrong. So we know that the force is being acted at 44 feet away from the bar is going to create the same effect as the 100, 250, and 400 in their respective locations. So this gives us a feel for not only finding equivalent forces in, at A, and also with E, but then be able, being able to extend that to force applied at a distance. We're going to be looking more at equivalent forces on our next topic, but for now I think this gets you going enough that you can start in on some problems and try to make sense of how to use these equivalent systems. Once again, in summary, we've taken a look at how to use the system of equations I'm sorry, system of equivalence, e equivalent systems to functionally, like looking at a real problem, create multiple ways to show the same system. Started off here with one, where we looked at 100, 250, 400. There's our, the way we were given, the, the scenario we were given. We're only looking at applied forces. We said, okay, around the point A, that's the same as 50 pounds. 2800. Around point E, it's going to be different. Now, both of them are coincidentally positive. You don't know that's going to be the case, but what will remain the same is the applied force. I look forward to seeing you on our next module when we explore more with being able to use forces and moments.